hindi naman daw hindi naman daw yun ang intention talaga ng senador sa ginagawa nila. Well, uh, number one, hindi namin gusto ang world war. Sayo ko lang, sa kapwa namin mga babatas sa senado, hindi labas lang ng mga congressmen ang kanilang saloobin sa nangyaring pag-atake sa aming speaker at sa aming institusyon. Pangalawa, sa aming all member caucus na ginawa last week, grabe talaga ang galit na inilabas ng mga kasama namin mga congressmen. Galit sila sa pamabastos na ginawa ng ilang senador sa aming speaker at sa House of Representatives. Sa mga sesyon nila, at hearing kaugnay sa People's Initiative. Number three, we in the leadership need to temper the situation all the time. Kaya, ang napagkasunduan po namin ay gumawa at maglabas ng isang House Resolution para ilabas ang collective sentiment bilang isang kapulungan. Pangapat, kailangan namin tumayo bilang isang kapulungan para ipagtanggol ang aming dignidad at sinisira dahil lamang sa maling mga akusasyon ng mga senador sa People's Initiative. Lagi namang kami sinasabihan ng aming speaker, sabi niya, bukas ang House leadership sa anumang dialogue, sa kailangan kasama ang mga kasama natin sa Senado. We consider them as partners in nation building. Kaya we are shocked sa ginawa, ginagawa nila sa amin. Number six, natutuwa po kami sa pagsimula ng deliberasyon ng RBH number six. Kasaysayan ng Pilipinas, mula noong 1987, ngayon lamang umupok uli ang Senado para bisitain ang mga provisyon nito. Gusto rin namin hindi didikta ang House of Representatives at Senado sa timetable at deadline nila sa deliberation ng RBH number six. At panguli, Yun sinabi ko nung una, si Senate President, ang sinabi niya mismo, magdagtakda ng deadline sa press call niya na ginawa noong January 15, ang araw na nag-file siya ng RBH number 6. Alam niyo po, masakit po ito. Basahin ko lang po na isang senador na sinabi sa amin. Sabi niya, we cannot say na equal ang isang party list representative sa isang senador. Never ilang ilang bang boto ang nakukuha ang pinakamababang senador na yun, Mr. President. 15 million votes, Mr. President. Ang Batanes po, for instance, 6,000 to 7,000 votes lang po. You're a congressman. I don't have anything against Congress again. Mr. President, but can you really compare apples to oranges? Alam niyo po, Robin Padilla garnered 26.4 million, that is equivalent to 48.8%. That's number one, Senator. Number two, Lauren Ligarda garnered 24.43 million, that is 43.44%. Mig Subiri, got 18.9 million, that is 33.75%. Joel Villanueva, 18.5 million, number 9 siya, 33.05%. Dito po sa mababang kapulungan, o oh, walang mababang kapulungan, this is the House of Representatives, House of Representatives, halos unopposed po yan. Yung mga senador, mataas ang tingin sa aming mga kongresista kasi kami ang pinakakatawan nila dito sa House of Representatives. Oh. Pag kami ang tinira mo, parang tinira mo ang mga tao namin sa baba. Yung mga constituents namin. Kaya alam niyo po, napakasakit po nun. Kaya if you are going to interpolate or extrapolate the numbers you garner and the numbers we garner, mas batas po yung posyento namin. If you are unopposed, meaning to say 100%, ng buong sinasakupan mo, mahal ka nila at nilalispekto ka nila. You are 12. Parang barangay kagawat. You vote for Kapitan, barangay kagawat. SK Chairman, SK kagawat. Municipal Mayor, Vice Mayor. Sa mundo niyang bayan member. Sila ganyan lang po. Pero hindi, hindi explain ko lang po sa inyo. Kaya, hindi po kasi na 
matanggap ng mga kasama namin na kongresista during our uh, majority all members caucus na inilabas nila talaga ang sama ng loob nila sa mga senador. Okay, yes, yes. RJ, ano ba ang sabi eksakto doon sa ano statement nila? Ano sa amin na solution? Let me just run through some of the samplings. Can I, can I, can I, RJ? Ang sabi nung isa, ano ba talaga ang gusto nila? Ang gusto po namin ay maipasa ito RPH number 6. Napaka-simple. Senator Jingo Estrada, I don't think we violated interparliamentary courtesy because we have always observed it from the very start and I think this resolution is an affront to the Senate as an institution. Senator Villanueva, it bothers me that our co-equal House, House of Representatives, will accuse the Senate from coming up with these so-called attacks. May isang salita ang mga senador, may isang salita hindi natin kailangan ng the fact that we see each other yung pagkamay natin sa isa't isa alam na natin, pero na tayo yung pinagkakasama. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't know we were not allowed to feel that way. Ah, sa totoo lang, this rift should not have existed in the first place had we exercised some some form or some minimum amount of empathy. Kailan sa kasaysayan ng Kongreso ang isang chamber mag-organize ng isang inquiry tapos ang matatarget yung leader ng isang chamber. Empathy. Bakit hindi natin balik pa rin ang sitwasyon? What if we organize a congressional inquiry tapos ang gagawit natin si SP Mixuiri. But of course, we take the higher model route and we will never do that. That's unthinkable. Tapos, sasabayan mo pa na mga insinuations that we engage in illicit and illegal activity. Ano ba yan? Kayo na lang ang tama at kami mali? Kayo na lang ang nagmamahal sa bansa at kami hindi? Kayo lang ang defenders of the Constitution at kami gusto namin babuhin ang Constitution? Self-righteous much? No. So a little bit of empathy would have avoided this situation. Now, ako naniniwala, mga kasamahan ko, I think I speak for other congressmen, congresswomen as well. Ang nag-uusap ng tapat, nagsasama ng magwa. So if we express through a house resolution ng aming mga sentimento, ang aming mga damdamin. Maybe, instead of taking it negatively and starting a world war, maybe we can do a little bit of introspection. That's part of empathy. Suriin natin, itong mga partners natin mahabang panahon na natin katrabaho. Bakit all of a sudden parang nag-aalasan, paalasan sila? Parang nagagalit sila? Ano kaya ang nagawa natin? There is nothing wrong with a little bit of humility and introspection. Baka naman, maunawaan ninyo na ang frustration na nararamdaman namin that we kami, malinis ang hangarin namin, we're just going about our duties as congressmen and congresswomen and we have always viewed them as parties and all of a sudden, magkakaroon ng Senate inquiry. Okay, karapatan niyo yan. Pero yung gano'n, papabuyan ng aming leader. Eh sino ba ang kami hindi mag, magre-react? Eh sinabi nga rin yata nila na kung yun sa kanilang president. President, eh yun, eh gano'n din ang kanilang reaction. Tapos, we engage in character assassination. Tapos, meron pang language unbecoming of senators. This is not the way we should do things. A little bit of empathy. Place yourselves in our situation. At hindi lang yan. During our all members caucus, maraming frustrations ang nailabas namin. Alam nyo ba yung feeling na magtatrabaho ka, 
gagawa ka ng isang legislative measure, isang panukalang batas, you do your research. You take the time to craft and draft the bill. And then, you go through the deliberations. Papakinggan mo lahat with a sense of urgency because kami kasi, we work directly with our constituents. At nararamdaman namin, ano may frustration na alam mo na yung solusyon, and yet, syempre, we respect the process. But, knowing that, Merong urgency. We work double time. And we take it seriously. Hindi pa pwede yung sit on a bill and let it languish just because. Just because. And we try to ask ourselves, bakit nangyayari yun? Ilan ang mga panukalang batas ang naipasa na namin sa Senado na hindi pa na-actionan? At nagtatunong kami. O ito na lang, RPH 6. We did our part. Nagbitaw kayo ng salita. Before Holy Week. Now, gusto niyo October. Eh, ba't din lang tayo magtapatan? Are you determined or are you not? We're not dictating on you. But ang aming pananabatan is that we know you are capable. We know you are also determined because this is what you say. So why don't we walk the talk? If there is a will, There's a way. Yung frustration, yung mga bills na ganyan. Tapos, tao lang naman kami mga kong assistant. We look back at the times when we took part in your respective campaigns. Nung nag-effort kami mag-organize ng mga political rallies niyo, nakikisabay kayo sa amin. We celebrated your victories. In fact, maa meron akong nalilig ng mga pangresista. Eh, ito nga, nangako sa akin ng itong project, nangako sa akin ng itong programa para sa akin ng situation. Lahat ginagawa namin para magkisama. Tapos napapako naman yung mga pangako. And you tell us that we cannot feel intensely about things. Kaya yung wording na yan, take it as it is. The resolution is what it is. It is a sincere expression of how we feel in the House of Representatives. And I do not feel that we should be judged because of the way we feel. Sana, take some time para i-analyze mo. Saan kami nang gagaling? Ano ang hinugot namin? Yun lang naman yun eh. You know what? Basmanix, ako, pala lang dito sa House of Representatives, natutuwa nga ang mga speaker eh. Kasi, You know, he wants to take the higher model round. In fact, sabi niya sa atin, I don't want you to engage in a word war because we have to work for the sake of our country. This situation is really uncomfortable. It's an understatement. It's weird, honestly speaking. Sa kanila nakakita ng upper house or house ng baba ngayon, it all boils down to one thing eh. There is a need to amend the Constitution. The economic provisions in particular. Nagkais na tayo in our declaration of intent. So why don't we walk the talk? Yun lang naman. Now, you may choose to sit on it because you have the power to do it. And you can prove your power by sitting on it because it's the process. But the question is not whether you are capable of doing it. The question is Is it the right thing to do? So I invite our dear senators, and I appeal to their more noble sense of patriotism to seriously consider our, our resolution of both houses number six and start the ball rolling once and for all. They've shown it in the past with other more complicated legislative measures. Why can't they do it now? Nagkataon lang ba? na mayroong bangayan na gaganap. At matatapos na itong bangayan na ito eh. People will forget about what we say or what we did. Pero mag-ingat tayo sa pagtato sa isa't isa because it's difficult to forget how you make us feel. And when you make us feel like we're inferiors and not co-equal, you may say that we're co-equals, but by your actions and pronouncements, parang nabibetri ang sinasabi ninyo. Mawala nang lahat, huwag lang yung pakiramdam. Di po ba? Eh, matatalino naman po tayong lahat. At uh, 
You know what? Thank you. Sabi nga namin eh, na tayo mag- uh, lahat, napatan na lang hindi tayo. Kami, klaro, sa lower house, we want constitutional amendments, particularly the economic provisions. Sabi nyo, gano'n din kayo. Kasi sana patunayin nyo naman ang tambay. Isuntanin na natin itong ating pangayahan. Diyos ko, napakabawal lang dito. Although sana, unawain nyo rin kung saan kami ng magkali. Because we're just being sincere here. And we mean, we don't mean anything. We don't mean anything bad. And we don't want this situation to last a long time. Gusto namin makaayos sa ayos, magkais na tayo para makafocus na tayo sa ano. Thank you. Actually, uh, I'll say Father Panel before, what is your backup plan for in case talagang hindi nila mapagbigyan yung, or hindi 